Well, you gotta love bushwhacking, right? Trudging through all this thick stuff. But at least it's different to last time I did this when there was, you know, a couple of feet of snow. And there's a waterfall, which I didn't know was there because last time it was all frozen, so that's pretty cool. But almost back to where we need to be. Just got a little bit further to go, I think. But we'll, be, we'll get there. So, my plan I've been dreaming of building a little trappist cabin and using a tarp for a roof just because that way I feel like I can take the tarp off. And that way, when I come back, at least the sunlight can get in there and penetrate and, you know, try and kill any mold and germs that might be in the shelter. Plus, I want to get rid of this. I don't want to leave this out here anymore and just sort of clean it up and tidy it up a little bit. So that's the plan for today. Well, it's definitely later than I'd want it to be. And it looks like there's some weather coming in and I know it said it was supposed to rain at some point, but I wasn't expecting it to be this early. So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is try and string up a tarp from the tree over there to this tree behind me. And that way I can keep going underneath it and hopefully I won't get wet, camera won't get wet, all that stuff, so. That's what we're going to do now. Oh my god, the top flapped and it sounded like something were running at me. Oh my god, just about pooped my pants. Just about pooped my pants. I was looking for sticks on the ground and all of a sudden it made like this. But it, it sounded like, boom, like a something charging at me. God. Oh. Gotta stop because I'm getting tired, I'm getting sore, 
and most likely thing is if I keep going there's a good chance I might hurt myself if I get lazy and I don't want to do that not back here so best bet is to probably start thinking about cooking food and light the fire after I've lowered this tarp down I think the best bet is to lower the tarp because I was laying down here and because the tarp's so high right now it uh if, the, if it rains, and that's one of the reasons I stopped, because it started to rain a little bit, uh, I don't want it just blowing all in, because the bigger the gap, the more of an angle it has to come in on me. So that's what I, my plan is now, drop this tarp down a little bit. Obviously, at some point, this will be higher. It'll be more like up to here, all the way around on three sides, and then the plan is to um, build some sort of frame to throw the tarp over. But the string in the top actually worked better than I thought. Dobre jutro sim muim ruskim de Brajes. Which I believe actually means good morning, my Russian friend. But I said to a couple of them, I've got a couple of Russian subscribers, and I said to them I'd do a, uh, a Russian themed video. So I've got my, my sweet gingerbread for the morning. I'm cooking some shashlik, sashlik. It's like a kebab, Russian kebab thing. And we got vodka. So, cheers. Whoop, wood up. Ha. 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 Da. Spasiba. I'm picking up, I use Russian translate to translate international comments and picking up a little bits of a couple of languages, so. I, can't, I don't know what cheers is in Russian, but cheers. Guys, built a little rocket stove, not a rocket stove, Dakota fire pit right at the edge of the tarp because it was raining whilst I was doing it so I could sit and stay dry. So I'm going to light that and let my meat marinate because apparently that's the, that's the key to a good sashlik. Sashlik? Sashlik. you got to let it marinate and apparently there's, it's like a... Each family has their own recipe on how to do it and it gets passed down from generation to generation, so. Just sat there. Someone came crawling through my shoulder and scared the bejesus out of me. Little Newt, look. Newt Gingrich. You scared me, bro.
Now might be a more appropriate time for my Dobre jutro sim muim ruskim debrayas. Good morning, all my Russian friends. Well, let me tell you. Hang on, let's get let's get tucked into this for a sweet little. Hmm. So good. Oi. Well, it might be time for top camping season to be over. Not quite over, but maybe I need to bring out my, my bug netting, my, um, yeah, probably my bug netting thing with me next time because I had every amphibious creature you could imagine trying to crawl into bed with me last night. You saw Newt Gingrich. He was out. I don't know if he's a newt or a salamander. I don't know if he's poisonous or not either, but he, he looked pretty nasty. But then I know a lot of them up here have those. I've forgotten what they call it. There's a special name for it where they look poisonous, but they're not. Like a defense mechanism. But, uh, I've got a gun. I've got a gun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they were all like, and then I had all the little tree frogs climbing into bed with me. At one point, one of them, I was laying in bed and one of them jumped and landed on my face. And I don't think I've ever moved so fast in my entire life. Screamed like a little girl. Cause it's dark and all of a sudden it's just like. And you're just like. Running around trying to figure out, make sure it's not, I don't kill it and make sure it doesn't end up somewhere down in my sleeping bag either. But yeah, that was that was happening. Plus all the there was a number of spiders that I kept watching come down from the top. Everyone just wanted to cuddle with cuddled with old Rob last night, you know? Everyone just wanted to get get a little piece of me. That's fine. And then it rained all night. Rained hard all night. Uh, um and then obviously this morning I woke up and it was snowing. I think, I don't know what time, maybe, I think I woke up around 4am and it was still raining, or maybe, and it wasn't, no, it stopped raining, and then I woke up again probably closer to 5 and it was snowing, so, so yeah, it seems to be melting just as fast as it's landing though now, so, anyway, anyway, good trip, like I say, I gotta come back and finish it. Bring some bug netting or something to keep me, keep it out, keep the bugs out, keep the, the amphibious creatures out, reptiles. That's why I thought Newt Gingrich was, to be honest, because all I could see was the head and he came, it was dark and he was just moving like this through the shelter. He came out from under my sleeping pad at one point and I was like, bah, bah. I thought it was a snake, which... I don't mind snakes, I don't mind critters and snakes and things like that, as long as I can see them. I don't mind bugs either, as long as I can see them. What freaks me out is the thought of when I turn all the lights off and get into bed that one's just going to slither up next to me. So. Anywho, anywho. It's a fun trip. If you like it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.